it's, it's very, you, you very feel charmed? I, f I feel like I'm back in community theater. Right? But that's fine. No, that's kind of the whole idea, man. <laughs> uh, absolutely. All right. Are we, we got him on. Look, we got the little logo I, now. Look at that. The lower third, that Joe Menente, like it says. That. How about oh, that? Man. This is some top-notch shit we're doing over very, here. Very, very nice. Are we right? in frame? Are we in the right place? I think it's going to be okay. fine. I don't right. worry too much about it, man. Once I get in the seat and the lights are on, I say, fuck it. It's on Travis. Sounds good. 100%. <laughs> um, I want to talk really quickly about uh, Fourth Wall. And it's, hard. it's distracting a little bit, isn't it? I do the same thing. I like constantly find myself looking at it. Uh, so here's the thing. We couldn't do this fucking show if it weren't for you, man. So I want to, first oh. of all, just on camera in front of everyone, say thank you to Joe Menente, not just for uh, thank you. all the wonderful stuff with Fourth Wall TV, thank but you. Fourth Wall Studios in general. We got the brand new location in Hollywood. That's true. That's Come on out and do a set. That means Enjoy yourself. You put that together with the mobile mic and you got five <laughs> stages, man. <laughs> That's, That's right. Like yeah. crazy. I know. You Oversaturation. Could, no, absolutely not. You could do, <laughs> you could do five sets in one night in five different stages and not leave fourth wall that's property. true that's, that's true. amazing you can't do that anywhere else no. in america I, I don't think that's you gotta can. be the only place <laughs> thank you yeah thank you. wonderful yeah. um yeah yeah so i want to ask you then what what inspired you to be like okay we've got the open mic theater the the the, the model that you've introduced is working everyone's yes. liking that what made you go oh let's have yes. tv shows and live yes. streams and stuff yes. like that yes i have put a lot of thought into exactly that question. <laughs> I really have. And I don't know. I have right. no fucking idea. Especially since you've seen our show, you're like, God, the fuck was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I love me, it. Me and Joe got really <laughs> bored over the summer, if we're being honest. You're so. bored over the summer. No, that's not a bad yeah. reason to start an entire <laughs> network of, uh, of podcasting and live streams. Um, no, it's cool. I, I think that um, one of the things that I likened it to, it's funny you said community theater at the top, because that's how I've been talking to Travis about this show. Yeah. I was like, he was saying, but we really need more people. How are we going to get people to work for free? And I was like, here's the scam. Right? <laughs> here's, the, here's the scam. You trick them into thinking they really like what they're doing. That's the key. And then they just show up every Sunday night to help you do your talk show. It's fucking crazy. Is it working? Yeah, it's the it community theater model. Yeah. That's the whole idea. <laughs> that you just you get people so excited about what they're doing. And I being a bit glib, but I mean it seriously. It's it is it is insane even in this town where we're all trying to uh, make a living off of this crazy, stupid shit that we think is funny in our heads. We're like, maybe they'll pay me for this shit that just falls out of my brain. <laughs> that that there, are these, there have to be these places for us to exercise, you know? Yeah. For us to work out. And a lot of people call this a gym. You feel like this is... Uh, it is a gym. Yeah. yeah. As far as the open mic's concerned, it's a place to work out. Although I will say this, we did get a lot of real audience this weekend over in Hollywood oh, uh, yeah? for passers-by on Friday and Saturday. There's a lot of activity in that part of town yeah. uh, because of the restaurants and whatnot. But as far as the broadcasts are concerned, you know, I, yeah, I, maybe I shouldn't have said community theater when we first started because, yeah, it's still practice. Yeah, maybe the viewership isn't huge right now, but... You know, fucking just go for it in terms of just make it as real as possible. You right. know what I mean? Because, I mean, I, you know, YouTube, that's all I watch is YouTube. And it's yeah. people just, people have millions of followers and all they do is play video games or go fishing right. online. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, so what, you know, they don't even have th three cameras. You know what I mean? Right. And we're going to get all three of them to work at some point. Th that would be <laughs> even better. So I, I view this aspect of the uh, studio as, as the real thing. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. I really do. You know, it, uh, you know for me, I have a lot of involvement in business and right. all different kinds of operations, things that have nothing to do with show business. Mm -hmm. I ran a moving company at one point in my life that I started. I moved one couch, okay? It all starts with one couch, you know what I mean? And you're, you know, it, th I, there's a lot of one couch. Now we're up to three couches yeah, here. Yeah, right? And, that did you became a to, small operation that made Did you have money. to pay them five bucks to move their couch? Is that how that <laughs> worked? Is, that, is it the same? Um, if, uh, yeah, there was jobs that we had where I definitely didn't budget it out right or charge enough. I mean, right. I'm costing more than five dollars. Sure, can promise sure, you sure. That. Yeah, but that's all part of the learning process. But this is the real thing. Don't get it fucked up. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. It, it really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. I appreciate yeah. that, man. It might not feel to, like it yet, but it will be. We're trying to, we're yeah. trying to, make, the, to, to make it exactly that and to treat it that way. Uh, 
you know, with all seriousness. Uh, so I want to transition to really is the other thing that I, so like, other than uh, the fact that you're responsible for us sitting here, uh, <laughs> why I have Joe on the political talk show? Yeah, Because uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I know that you yourself were like, and, you know, this is what I love. So many people I ask on this show were like, what is it? And I explain it and they're like, you sure? I don't know. I don't think, they, that is the exact reaction so many, so many times. And I want to say, so here's my angle on having you on this political talk show. What, what month and year did you open this place? Uh, let's see, it was August, uh, no, August 2016. Okay, so right before we put this crazy bastard in office, yeah. you opened a comedy theater. That's true. Yeah. Yes. And then all of your time watching these stand-up sets <laughs> has been under this new, well, I think the way I put it in a text to you was like, since politics got cranked to 11. I thought that was a Menente term you'd like. Yeah, okay, dude, cool. it's very spinal tap. Yeah, I'm I, try, I was like, I need a rocker thing to get in here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but it's only, you've only been running this place since that's been the dynamic. How many comics get up here and uh, do even worse uh, political stuff than me? Oh. That's, my, that's my question. <laughs> Yeah. How, how much of that is the ratio since since that's been the case? I, well, every single night you hear things about you, you heard Trump's name come up. You know right. what I mean? And so it's well, yeah. There's very seldom an original take on it. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah, believe the, me. the, the the takes are the good takes are few and far between. Right. You know. I think the best takes are the ones that you see on shows like this or late night talk shows that are current. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, Thank you. So that's it. You know, yeah, it's, it's fucking tiring and boring, you know, because right. he's tiring and boring. Yeah, you know what I mean? Absolutely. You yeah. feel like it's just one of those things like I feel like and this is why I started the show in the first place was I wanted a place to try out that kind of material because for the most part, people don't want to fucking hear it at all. They really don't. Like, as soon as you open your mouth and you're saying something related to politics or the government, they want to check out. They don't even want to hear if maybe you have an original take, which I get. Because yeah. especially in your case, when you, what did you watch, 19,000 sets of stand-up comedy last year? Yeah, approximately. It yeah. might have just been 18,750, but, you know, we who's counting? We were splitting hairs, <laughs> yeah, uh, you. But uh, it's, uh, it's I, I wouldn't blame you. That's, a, that's an insane number, and the fact that... Uh, so much of that was probably just like throwing. Oh, garbage! Stuff at the, a lot yeah. of it was garbage. But that's that's part of the process, and I, it, yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. You know. Do you yeah. think? Uh, do you think if the presidency switches in twenty twenty to a Democrat that that'll chill out, or do you think we're just stuck in this world of political it, comedy? It forever? probably will like in this it being cranked up in our market. It will probably cool yeah. off because the, it's a liberal minded area, and they will been appeased with what they want right. uh, and people will, will relax. You know, it's kind of I mean? that way during Obama a little bit, but it was yeah. just so much like, yeah, I, I, was that, a th I wasn't really doing stand up at that time. Was that like, were, were there uh, an audience for the people who hated him as a president getting up and doing that material? I, you know, I don't, yeah, never heard no, it, there, there was a lot less, right? Was, but he was a very agreeable person, you know Overall, what I mean? So, yeah, I would say so in comparison. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not an incendiary weirdo, you know, right. like a sensational jerk off guy. Well, he but, wore a tan suit, that son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. He looked like he was fucking trying to get inducted to the, the football hall of fame. You know, it was terrible. <laughs> Bad fashion choices. We'll put them in the present. Okay. <laughs> Joe, thanks so much for thanks coming out and talking to me, man. Appreciate